Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. Today I address the eternal flame war between console gaming and PC gaming. This week there was an interview done with the president of Tripwire, developer on Steam. His name is John Gibson. He believes that PC gaming is entering a new golden age. And you know what? I really can't argue with that. Currently on Steam alone, there are 9 million peak concurrent users and almost actually over 80 million people registered on Steam, which is a huge increase from the last few years. Ever since 2007, PC gaming has been growing faster than console gaming in some years by exponential amounts. And then in the last three or four years, console gaming has actually done a little bit of shrinking. It has definitely plateaued. I got a little graph up here to show you the comparison. 2014 was the first year that consoles actually fell behind PCs in software sales. And I think there's two reasons for this. This is wild speculation on my part, and I would love to hear what you think about this, but I think these are the two main things that are finally tipping the balance in favor of PCs. Number one is cost per performance. Forever, I remember all through my childhood, you can buy a console, and the console would always perform better than the PCs that you could get unless you were spending just an exorbitant amount of money. Um, the home computer that we had when I was younger, I think cost around a thousand dollars and it could not game anywhere near as well as the Nintendo 64 or GameCube that I used way back when. Um, recently though, even though console prices have dropped to around the $400 mark, you can still build a decent PC with equivalent or better performance to that console and then the games are cheaper for PC than they are for console. So there's really no reason not to get a PC as if you're strictly going for performance. The other big thing, number two on the list for reasons why PC gaming is catching up is the convenience factor. Again, for years upon years, consoles were super convenient for playing games. You plug the thing into your TV, you hit the power button, you play a game. In recent years, with the current generation of consoles specifically, you're running into more PC-ish user experiences. You have to install games. It's no longer a plug-in and play experience. You still have to have a connection to the internet. You have to run updates on your games. Basically, you're moving to a different room from your computer to do the same thing you would be doing on your computer to play a game. People are hanging out on their computers more. With social media, people are attached to their computers. You've got so many people suffering from borderline internet addiction, and I may actually be one of those. Uh, you don't want to leave your PC, and you already have a decent PC for a relatively low cost. Why not game on it? You've got everything in one spot, so convenience is no longer an advantage of the consoles. It is now moving to computers, and I think that is actually one of the bigger contributors to this. As far as things go directly concerning PC gaming, I think I can comfortably say that, yeah, PC gaming is entering a golden age. But I would be cautious about saying that about the game industry as a whole, because the game industry is kind of at a plateau overall. Um, there's not been huge increases in sales in the last year or so. And then also, PC gaming and gaming in general right now is kind of stagnant. Um, there are some really good indie developers doing things, but as a whole, there's not a whole lot of new stuff in the video game industry that is available to the larger portion of the player base. So, to a certain extent, I think some reform is going to be needed. A couple of companies are going to have to go out of business and people are going to have to start rethinking how they make games for before we can truly say that we've re-entered a golden age of gaming. But I think we're on our way there. And for PCs anyway, time is good. Definitely moving forward with PC gaming. Alrighty guys, that is going to wrap up my thoughts on this. I would love to hear your comments about it. Like if you liked it, thumbs down if you disliked it, as always. And I will see you in the comments and hopefully in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching.